Assalamualaikum. Hi. I am Sharifah Nurul Hikmah and I'm making this video for the purpose of computer organization course in UITM. This video is covering chapter 1, Digital System and Logic. At the end of this video, the students should be able to explain the integrated circuit and Boolean algebra concept. The integrated circuit is known as the building blocks of a computer. The integrated circuit or IC is a small chip that can function as an amplifier, oscillator, timer, microprocessor or even the computer memory. It is usually made of silicon and can hold anywhere from hundreds to millions of transistors, resistors and capacitors. It is designed for specialized function, for example, the CPU, the bus interface and memory management unit. It also uses the transistors in digital circuit as electronic switches, which can be either in an on or off state. BM, integrated circuit adalah satu uh, block of circuit ataupun lita yang dibangunkan menggunakan silikon ataupun kita biasa kenali dia sebagai silikon chip yang mana dalam silikon chip ini terdapat um, kapasitor, transistor dan juga resistor yang mana fungsi transistor adalah untuk membawa signal-signal sama ada on ataupun off signal The digital computer is based on Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra describe rule that govern or manage constants and variable that can take into two values that use the Boolean logic. It also can be represented in many ways, such as true or false, yes or no, or one or zero. The transistor is means for implementing Boolean algebra, which is it is used as a switch, on or off switch to represent the 0 and 1 of binary digital circuit. And the transistors are combined to form the logic gate. Boolean logic rules can be described as formulas or by a truth table. It specifies the result for all possible combinations of inputs. In BM, Boolean algebra adalah satu rules ataupun satu kaedah yang digunakan untuk mengendalikan constant dan juga variable di dalam uh, operasi komputer. Dan Boolean algebra digunakan untuk uh, menyatakan keadaan satu-satu signal sama ada yes or no ataupun satu ataupun kosong. Dan untuk membentuk Boolean algebra secara fizikal di dalam microchip ataupun komputer, kita menggunakan transistor. Yang mana transistor dia boleh memegang ataupun menghantar signal uh, satu ataupun kosong ataupun kita boleh kata on ataupun off. Transistor boleh duduk dalam keadaan on ataupun off, maka transistor boleh digunakan untuk mewakili Boolean algebra secara fizikal di dalam komputer. Let's move to the first Boolean operation, which is AND. AND Boolean operation consists of two inputs and one output. The output will be 1 if both the input A and B are also 1. For example, Y equal to A and B, where the Boolean symbol for N is a center dot. This is the truth table for N Boolean operation. As you can see here, if both of the input A and B are 1, then the output Y will be equal to 1. But if one of the input are 0, then the output will be 0. And this is the symbol of an operation logic gate. 
The second Boolean operation is OR. OR has two inputs and one output. The output of OR will be equal to 1 if one of the input is 1. For example, Y equal to A or B, where OR is represented by plus sign. This is the truth table of OR Boolean operation. As you can see here, if one or both input of A and B are equal to 1, then the output Y will be equal to 1. But if both of the A and B input equal to 0, then Y output will be 0 as well. And this is the symbol of OR Boolean operation logic gate. The third Boolean operation is NOT. NOT has only one input and one output. The output will be equal to 1 if input equal to 0 and vice versa. For example, y equal to not a or y, e y equal to a not. This is the truth table of not boolean operation where y input, sorry, y output will be equal to 0 if a input is equal to 1 and vice versa. And this is the logic gate boolean operation symbol for not and the last boolean operation that we have to know is the xor the xor has two inputs and one output the output will be one if either a or B is equal to 1, but not both. For example, Y equal to A, X or B. The X or Boolean operation symbol is a plus sign with a circle. The Boolean symbol for X or is a plus sign with a circle. This is the truth table for XOR operation where if one of the input is 1, then the output Y will be 1. But if both of the input is 1 and both of the input are 0, then the output will be 0. In Malay, untuk XOR, inputnya Mestilah berbeza untuk membentuk output 1. Sekiranya sama inputnya sama ada 1 ataupun kosong, maka outputnya akan menjadi kosong. And this is the logic gate boolean operation symbol for X or. That's all for this video. Thank you.